think it's too late to stop the expression going forward becoming mainstream? I'm afraid it might be. It's begun to make that transition from being one of those phrases only hateful management speaking idiots would dream of using, which is fine because it provides another useful way by which hateful idiots can identify themselves to the rest of us, to being just another way of saying from now on. But we don't need another way of saying from now on. We've got one and it was here first and it's better. And if people I like are going to start saying going forward, then I can no longer just write it off as a thing awful people say. I suppose this state of affairs does at least retrospectively justify having fought the phrase in the first place because the routine adoption of it by non-twats was just the development I feared. But there's only a certain amount of pleasure you can get from saying I told you so. Granted, that certain amount is loads, but still, it's finite. I think what I hate about going forward is that it implies advancement when it's actually just describing the passing of time. From now on is a colourless description of at what point and for what foreseeable duration the office canteen will be charging five pence for paper towels. Going forward makes it sound like progress. Brothers, in our ceaseless surge onwards and upwards towards the sunlit uplands of human perfection, another milestone has been passed. Free paper towels, those shameful reminders of humanity's imperfect unevolved past, are no more. Going forward, paper towels will cost five pence. No, not everything has to sound like a master plan. Change is not always for the better. The future is not always bright. Forward is not always where we're going. We may well be going backwards to our doom, or most likely staying perfectly still whilst time rushes heedlessly past us. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have a little cry. Bye.